Life of Nate here with a personal video tonight. I'm not going to cry because I've done that before and it doesn't really help me. But this is a pretty serious video. and I'm going to make it as short as possible. And this is going to help people who are in my situation, who have dealt the same thoughts, same feelings, same emotions, been through the same thing. And that is if you feel suicidal. And this is a video that I want specifically suicidal people to watch. Depressed people, because suppression is a serious issue with a lot of people. In fact, I believe most people do suffer some form of depression. And it may not... Depression is something that is not something that can just go away. Because I think, I believe, I personally believe that depression is something that is kind of permanent. But you can subside it and be happy. You can just block it up. There's always going to be a part of you that's going to be depressed. And it's okay. It's okay to be depressed. But you should talk to somebody. Talking to somebody is very important. And I know you've heard that many times. But it's true, talking to somebody, getting your emotions out, helps. I'm not necessarily necessarily saying that you should go to a therapist, because I did that. It didn't work. And I'm not saying that not seeing a therapist works. Sometimes you have to. But for me, it didn't. And this is a time where I almost tried to kill myself. It was April of 2019. I had a fallout with my parents because of stupid decisions that I decided to make. You know, and I was going through a lot. My girlfriend broke up with me. I quit my job. I was gonna get fired. And I was in a position where I, I just didn't want, I didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't feel like doing it anymore. So I decided to take a random bottle of pills, put them in my mouth and down it. Now, cops showed up. My dad called the police because he was worried, rightfully so, as a parent should be. The cop had me sit down, and the ambulance came too because they got the store right. They, they come anyway. And they took my blood pressure and everything, and I had to ride in the hospital. I had to ride in an ambulance. And that didn't cost, that wasn't cheap at all. Fortunately, and on the way there, I, on the way to the hospital, I did, I was thought, well, this might be my last moment. Uh, and I didn't feel anything. That's the scary part. I didn't, I didn't care. And then um, when I got to the hospital, I got put in these blue clothes, you know, that you normally see patients in. Just blue fabric, I don't know, I can't explain it. Cloth, like clothes, pants. I was in the hospital for at most three or four hours or until nighttime, and this happened at noon. So, but the fortunate thing is, the pills that I took weren't a high of dosage, enough to overdose me. But it could have. It could have been the different pills. It could have been a different pill bottle that could have ended my life. And, and then when I realized that, that I didn't have to get my pump, my stomach pumped. I realized, I really realized how fortunate I was and that I didn't want to die. I just, I was just seeking a way out when I should have realized there was more than one way out. Suicide is not the answer. And I should have realized that. Do I still suffer depression? Yes, I do. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys because depression does not go away. But Surrounding yourself with people that make you happy plays a huge key in subsiding that depression, keeping it buried in you, and just being happier. And part of it comes with within you, here in your head and in your heart. You have to realize that you are more valuable than the voice in your head tells you. And I made a video about don't listen. And I made a video about don't be your worst enemy. And that applies to this video. Don't listen to the voice in your head that says that you're not good enough, that you can't do this, that people don't like you. Because guess what? Not everybody's going to like you. 
but the vast majority of people will because you have to understand that more than often than not you'll find that people are genuinely good and the ones that aren't aren't mad at you don't hate you they just have a very bad day or they don't like you for whatever reason the way that you look that's their fault not your fault because you are a perfect person the way that you are and i in whatever situation that you go through you're gonna get out of it okay and i should have realized that i'm still here fortunately so if you are suicidal i'm gonna put the suicidal hotline in the description but before you do that I suggest that you talk to somebody. My, my Instagram is open if you are feeling suicidal. I will put that in the description too. Just talk to somebody. Because talking to somebody about your feelings is actually a good thing. And it's boys, men, it is okay to talk about your feelings too. Men are depressed. Women are depressed. Women may have it harder because they go through different things than us. And I'll talk about that in a different video, but we have feelings too everybody does everybody man woman whatever we have feelings and it's okay to talk about it with somebody because putting your put telling your emotions to somebody actually takes off the pressure from your shoulders to just getting out there letting somebody know that you're not okay and it's okay not to be okay but telling somebody makes it a little bit better i hope you guys took something from this video because it's a personal video and I hope a lot of you can relate. And I will I will be I'll be here for you guys if you ever need anything. My Instagram will be in the description. Thank you guys.